Welcome to Piemonte, home of world famous wines, truffles the size of your fist, stunning landscapes, and now us. During the pandemic, we decided to sell our apartment in Stockholm and move to Italy in search of our dream house. Just a short drive from the Ligurian coast and the buzzing city life of Milan, Langer in Piemonte was the perfect place for us to start our Italian adventure. In December 2021, we got the keys to our abandoned farmhouse and now in early 2022 have begun renovating. Follow our journey and progress as we restore this 100-year-old rustico into our dream home. Again? Yeah. Hi, and welcome to our Italian dream house. Welcome back to Castanoli della Lanza. You join us for the third episode in our renovation series, and in this one, we're tackling the bathroom. Let's jump straight in to me wrestling a cast iron bath. So we're trying to take this bathroom out and we've just discovered that they've actually bricked in the, the bath here. So usually you would just put some plasterboard and put the tiles on the plasterboard or something similar. But here they've actually built a wall and sat the bath inside this wall and then tiled it. So it's a bit of a mission and as you can see I'm out of breath. Maybe this is just the way that they used to do it back in the 70s. Maybe the plasterboard wasn't waterproof back then or, you know, they didn't have the materials. So they just built a wall from there, along there, and then sit the bath in it. So we've been taking this bathroom out in the hopes that we can renovate that room and this bathroom and then live on site. So it's one of our priorities. And we found that the bath, I might be shouting because I got these on, so <laughs> we found that the bath had been bricked in with two or three bricks deep, then um, render on it and then the tile. So it was really in there. And they've also put some kind of uh, concrete base, which the cast iron bath is stuck to. So now we've got to try and break this up to get the bath out. So it's turned into a bit of a half day mission, which we thought would take one hour, two hours max. The bath itself has taken that time on its own. So nothing to do but to put in a bit of elbow grease and chisel this away.
basically I just really hammered in my chisel in as far as possible um, and then pulled it out and I sent this one in after it and basically jumped on it and it pressed the but mission complete. are so good for dust but they make you so sweaty <laughs> literally sweat coming out <laughs> of my mask right now yes it's good bit of an extra workout what's happening in the bathroom what's 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 happening in the bathroom so we've been working in the bathroom today and we've made a lot of progress. We've removed all of the render or the plaster from the walls and also the big cement and brick base that the bath was sat on. So the next thing that I need to do is start taking the tiles out and then once that's done, we can look at moving the plumbing to the positions that we want it for our shower, our toilet and sink. And then we can start renovating this bathroom. So that's pretty cool. We made some really good progress. So while Edward is ripping off our bathroom floor tiles, I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk a little bit about the decoration and the interior of the bathroom. First of all, we're going to use a beautiful terrazzo patterned porcelain tile, which we will keep both on the floors, but also probably halfway up on the walls behind the sink or the bathroom cabinet. We're going to paint the rest of the walls in a similar green color as you can see on the picture and in the shower we will actually probably keep these wood-like um, tiles if they look as good in reality as they do on the picture and i should probably mention so we don't end up in trouble that the picture we have shamelessly stolen from Eper ceramica's website Regarding the sink, uh, we will put in a bathroom dresser from Ikea instead. So something a little bit more country style than the very modern one that you can see in the picture. So we are replacing the bathtub with a big nice shower. And we're also moving the sink from where it was today over to the other side of the bathroom. Here's a fast sketch of the bathroom layout. We are both really excited about this bathroom and we want to thank everyone who participated in the poll we had on Instagram a few weeks ago regarding this specific bathroom style. That was it for me and back and over to Edward. Now the bathroom is finally cleared of all plaster, tiles and rubbish from the floor. So we can actually see what's going on with the pipes and we can start thinking about how we're going to lay out the bathroom in here. Because we're starting to think about maybe putting in a wet room. Um, so that's pretty useful now because we can see how deep the concrete slab is, like the, the base. Um, and we can work out whether a wet room will be possible. So it's great. And next thing to think about is where we can run the pipes, um, start removing the plumbing that's already here and putting it in the places that we need it. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ping that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. In next week's video we will be doing a full rundown on the process of buying a house in Italy including finances, Italian bureaucracy and finding the perfect house. So make sure you check back in for that. See you next time. Bye!